guessing your job. Yeah, hi. Cap, with today's property management. You ready? Entry. Living room. Kitchen. And I think you're going to love this. Wash and dryer and... Bathroom number one. Bathroom number one? Number two's upstairs. It's both floors? It sure is, lots of room. Master bedroom. So how much? Thirteen hundred, utilities included. Are you kidding? Oh, what, does the Manson family live on the other side? <laughs> no. I can assure you no Manson family lives on the other side. It's vacant. It's getting its makeover next. But not for a while. So? Yeah. <laughs> can you believe it? We actually did it. We have a real home. Yeah. Let's finish this up, then go christen our new bedroom. New? You know what I mean. It's still old, even though it has new paint. What is it that you don't like about old houses anyway? Just, I have my reasons. Which are? My reasons. Hey, Kristen, first night in our new house. You know, I was thinking, new home, new beginning, maybe now's a good time for you to start weaning off the pills. What's wrong with taking a few pills? A lot of people do. They help with things, things that more fortunate people don't have to struggle with. I understand that, but sometimes antidepressants and sleeping pills have been known to cause forgetfulness, apathy, hallucinations. Dom! Okay, I just care about you. Uh, now is a good time to talk about it, I guess not. There's no it, and there's no discussion. It is with me, not you. Let's just drop it, okay? I'm sorry.
What are you doing here? I live here. Hello? Hi, this is Donahue. Oh, <laughs> mom. It's your mom that just landed. I'm looking forward to meeting you too, finally. Well, great. We'll see you in an hour then. Alright, here's Kristen. Hi! <laughs> yeah, you're all here! How was the flight? <laughs> Everything's all set up for you. Plenty of room. The place? It it's nice. Yeah, why? Hold on a sec. It's probably just a little stress from the move and all the rushing around. I'll be alright when you all get here. Well, we're about to get our luggage. I'll be there soon. Okay. Mom? Yes, Kristen? pressuring me to stop. Well, have you? No. Okay then, end of story. We'll be there soon. Everything will be fine. Gorgeous. The craftsmanship, the ceilings. Yeah, great, great find it too. Yeah. It has the feel of an old country yeah. home. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your brother's coming. He's driving down from San Francisco. Your brother? Gavin's coming? Did he get a job? He didn't say. Oh. Come on, you two, why don't you give us a tour of the new place? Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I think he looks down very well. You're getting more towels in the bathroom. Got him. Okay. Perfect. Ooh. I'll have some of that wine.
Kristen. Too much in my hands. Connecticut's where it's at. Here's the difference. Back east, every time you go outdoors, you're hurrying to get back indoors like three quarters of the year. Aww. Here, every time you go outside, it's like. Oh. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. You know what? Fall. Fall is a good season. But hey, we get to cuddle in the winters. That's true. <laughs> I think we need to open another bottle of wine. Uh, Let's no. do that. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. grade when she got the chicken pox. I felt terrible. She would just sit there for entire days, sitting in the bathroom sink and staring in the mirror. <laughs> yeah, at all those purple spots multiplying all over her. Uh, so vain. <laughs> so one day I was walking past the bathroom door and I felt so bad for her, so I said, don't worry, baby, they'll be gone soon. And she looks up at me excitedly and says, they go away? <laughs> Nobody ever told me. All I knew is kids were disappearing from school and they weren't coming back and I was next. Aww. <laughs> she doesn't tell me anything about when she was a kid. She was always the quiet, mellow one who'd sit on the lawn chair and watch while the rest of us would play. Yeah. Remember? <laughs> Pretty boring chick you got here. <laughs> I'm kidding. Well, I don't know about everybody else, but I'm exhausted. All that traveling. I'll get the goods for you. What is that? What is that noise?
Can you get me something to sanitize these cuts and to wrap them? We haven't gotten anything like that yet. Hang on. Katie. Okay. Yeah, yours. Hey, don't make me oh. embarrass you. Let's sit. Uh, EMT? Kevin was an EMT? Yeah, Kevin's not the type of guy that stuck with anything very long, though. And Mom's a nurse. Retired nurse. Well, don't look at me, bro. I'm a professional husband. And I meet this girl, right, and she takes me back to her place. And I'm like, look, no matter what happens, you need to get me home by 6 a.m. Because, you know, 6 is when mom's alarm goes off to go to work, and she'll think I was home sleeping the whole time. And, you know, I'm in college at this point. I didn't want her to think I was still a fuck-up. <laughs> <laughs> and when she gets me home by the skin of my teeth, you know, and I'm like a ninja, right? I open the door stealthily. I kick off my boots. And I am in my door, shutting it right as her alarm goes off. <laughs> Next morning, I wake up like <laughs> noonish, and mom comes home for lunch. She's like, you think you're pretty clever, don't you? I say, yeah. <laughs> She's like, why don't you go take a look at your boots? So I go to the front door, and there are my black boots right where I left them. Except smoking Hot Girl's bright pink bra is hanging out one of them. <laughs> <laughs> and mom says, have fun out with your friends. Oh, it was so close. <laughs> so close. Oh. Anybody else got a story like that? Bobby, I know you do. Uh, he better not. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was hidden in the wall of the closet where, where you were last night. You found that in your sleep? Kristen, oh my god, how? I mean, did you know it was there? No. What's in it? It looks old. <laughs> yeah, probably as old as this house. <laughs> Are you gonna open it? I don't know, maybe we shouldn't. Or maybe we should. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You found it. Do you wanna know? I'll open it. It's like some sort of medical. This is what they used on people back then. I'm glad I wasn't around. <laughs> well, this was never standard med. What is this? Sedatives? Chloroform? Morphine? That's some pretty heavy stuff. Ooh. Ooh. What are you doing? Her and her friends are into this new age stuff. I really wish you wouldn't, Kate. You seriously had no idea that this was in there? I was asleep. 
I don't know how... I need to talk to my sister for a second. Just a second. Honey, what's going on? Honestly, I have no idea. <gasps> hey, don't look at me, man. This isn't new, though. They've always had some weird thing between them. Well, like what? With Kristen? Yeah. But believe me, you don't want to go there. They can get pretty pissy about it. No. No. So we're the only ones that know, still, to this day. How's it happening again? I don't know. Hey, what's you up to? Energy reading. Oh. Anything good? No. Dom. Dom. I am. Just want to see if I can find a name or something on here. Learn something about this bag. Dom, come on. We're all together. Let's just put this away and let's be happy visiting with one another. Whoa. Oh, that's trippy. What is that? It's some sort of journal. Hey, come on. Yeah, hello. Okay, hold on. First entry. October 19th, 1923. My name is Dr. Jonah Falcar. As of today, I have begun the first phase of my experiments with human captivity and its effects on human behavior. My flock, as I call them, are six young people that I've gone out, used chloroform and other means to abduct back to the house I've acquired to carry out my experiments. Okay, so this guy kidnapped six people and brought them to here. Almost a hundred years ago. This is what you found? I didn't know I was finding anything. What does it say? Yeah, read some more. Uh, uh, okay. I keep each flock member locked in separate parts of the house, always in complete isolation from one another. I feel it's important to thoroughly establish my relation and status to each first. The feeling of total isolation is crucial as my experiments are for the sole purpose of understanding the emotional and psychological shifts that come with the sense of attachment or detachment, depending on how I, their captor, treat them. Yeah, what the Psycho. Oh, look, look. There's sketches right here in the back. Six sketches. Oh. They're just numbered. They only seem to be described in here as numbers. A sick mind would do something like this. It dehumanizes the victims. Maybe someone or something doesn't want us reading it. Yeah. Let's put this away for now. I'll go check the breakers. Hey. Weird, huh? You digging that out of the closet? Somehow you knew it was there. Did you? Did you take your pills? Crystal? I told you I didn't like 
like houses. Why? Why don't you? Kristen? knob and tube wiring in this house. It was commonly used from about 1880 to the 1930s. Doesn't work well today. So that explains the power surge last night? Without a doubt. What you've got in here predates the 1930s. Problem is, while this wiring was adequate to handle the electrical loads at the time of installation, it lacks the impacity to handle today's power use. Basically, we have a lot more appliances in a household nowadays than we did back when. Yeah, we do, because we got the... So what's the bottom line? Everything seems normal. Just really old. <laughs> Everything but the paint. I tightened a few things down. May work out, may not. Just don't use the toaster, the microwave, and the AC all at the same time. <laughs> Especially if they're on the same circuit as a refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. So this trip turned out a little differently than expected. Yeah. Dom seems like a great guy. Mom, I'm really not trying to make things complicated for him. I'm just trying to find the right time to bring up something like why I'm taking pills. I know I should tell him, but I don't want to shock him with the whole family here, and he's going to feel surrounded. What, by your allies? <laughs> you all right? Just really weird. Want to go in? You're okay now? What's going on? Everything's good. What are you up to? Oh, just checking out the hole in the closet. Nothing else in there. What was all that yelling when you guys came in? We were just seeing who was here. Are you okay? Yeah. I feel fine. Just got a little dizzy. Where is everyone? Out for a drive. Are you sure you're okay? Uh, everything's good. It's gonna be better. November 30th, 1923. It's been over a month and I am observing a phenomenon that is both as difficult to understand as it is fascinating. I've stripped each of my flock of all forms of independence and I'm in full, full control, control of their lives as well as their base needs for survival. I've starved them until they cry like infants for food. I constantly remind each of them that I can kill them at any given moment if they give me reason to. I torture them in horrible ways with my surgical instruments. 
There are times I inflict ungodly pain. Other times I show kindness. And I'm observing a paradoxical psychological phenomenon. My captives, the flock, seem to no longer despise me. But I'm beginning to, to exhibit this. signs of a positive attachment towards me. as though they believe that I am the one giving them life. By simply not taking it from them. What does this guy think he's got or something? <laughs> this guy's gotta be punished. Yeah. That thing's freaking me out. Can we put it away for tonight? What? No way. Yeah, this is better than just staring at the TV, right? Maybe Kristen's right. Oh, come on. I want to see a psycho doctor got away with it. Yeah, me too. Why don't you tell us? Katie? February 15th, 1924. Today, I mistakenly let two see a glance of each other as I led number one, a female, past the observer's bath, bath, bath. Where number four, a male, is kept in chains. I accidentally left number four's door ajar, and as I led number one past, I noticed them catch each other's eye. door again. I noticed from him a saddened glare. Possibly from hearing what I was doing with her there. I will experiment with these two. See what sort of bonds can form during captivity. This is just... Is this really how we want to be spending our time together reading this terrible book? At least there's answers in there. I mean, nobody else is saying anything. Look, you found this in the wall. Wouldn't you like to learn? You know what I'd like to learn? I'd like to learn a little bit more about my fiance. Like, what's this big secret the three of you won't share with the rest of us? I mean, aren't the three of you just the least bit curious? I am. Yeah, but... Hey, I already told you. It's becoming one of those things where if you don't want to tell us, then screw you. <laughs> Katie Donahue. <laughs> I mean, metaphorically. I don't mean it personally or anything, like a few, but I mean, that's basically what you three have been saying to us our entire lives with your exclusiveness. Well, I want to know. I mean, I think we deserve to know. We're a family. This is what this whole visit was about, coming together as a family. So let's just go ahead and lay all our secrets out on the table right now. I'll start if need be. When I was 14, I masturbated to Mrs. Peel from the Avengers. <laughs> That's mine. All right, who's next? It's late. Good night, everybody. Yeah, that's a good idea. Hey, I'm pretty beat, too.
first. Let go. Sis, wake up. Kristen, hey. Hey, sis, wake up. Hey, sis, Kristen. Wake up. Let go. She's not in No. Oh. Wake up. Kristen. Wake up. Wake up. Let go. Let go. You sleepwalked. Again. Don't you remember? Katie, now is not the time for that. It's the perfect time. I'm not getting anything anyway. Can we talk about the meds now? Because I'm guessing that they have something to do with this. Where are you going? Bed. Uh, bed? Okay. Come on, I'll go with you. They're simply to help with her anxiety. Anxiety? What kind? Just stress. Well, how long has she been on the medication? Since she was six. It's a little premature to be going on meds, isn't it? If you saw what would happen to her, you'd understand. Six is when Dad left. Mom. When Kristen was six, their father took her fishing. He got drunk. Kristen fell in and drowned. A man there pulled her out. Ambulances arrived. <laughs> she was pronounced dead for about five minutes. After that, things weren't the same. She wasn't the same. She'd get so frightened, she'd have relentless panic attacks. I would hold her for hours until she finally would begin to calm. <laughs> no one is comfortable putting a child at her age on meds. But after seeing how bad it would get, there didn't seem to be any options. And they worked until now. I remember what I saw back then people who weren't really there. They'd rush up to me shouting things I didn't understand. They'd follow me, they wouldn't stop. Always another and another. No matter how much I'd scream, they wouldn't stop. <laughs> the pills made them go away. Until you moved here. Yeah. I'm so sorry if I ever made you feel pressured. It's okay. How do I tell you I died once and I think I'm crazy? No, not crazy. You're jacked in. It's this house. The spirit's presence is powerful here. Wait, spirits as in ghosts? You think that she just happened to stumble upon that bag? The journal? Or was she led to it? What you were seeing before you went on those pharmaceuticals were spirits. You've been to their side, and ever since they've recognized you as a conduit. You just haven't been recognizing them back because of those pills. But why? That's what we're about to find out. I'm going to need that table, centered in this room. What? Hey, future sister-in-law, bro. Come on, play along. We begin by joining hands and closing our eyes. Breathe. Calm, comfortable, and in touch with your senses. Just relax and breathe. By joining hands, we form a circle of energy. We have to interpret and hope we can understand right. You're being reached out to. 
The energy cycling through this house is strong. I feel seven tortured souls all bound to this house. Six in unity and one not. He's their keeper in the afterlife. Yes, he is older, keeping the six young ones at bay. They want to get past him. He won't let them out. Repeat after me. Spirit dweller in this house, we ask that you commune with our circle. Spirit dweller in this house, we ask that you commune with our circle. Spirit dweller in this house, we ask that you commune with our circle. Spirit dweller in this house, we ask that you commune with our circle. Spirit, if you can hear us, we welcome you. Please join us. Madden little nasties. Little grumpets they are. Why are you here? Leave my house. Get out. Keep away. Keep away from them. They're mine. Together we are bound for all of time. Keep away from them. This up and, and the more ghosts are spirits that are stuck here in a state of unrest. Sometimes they need assistance from the living. This is not the place for them to be judged. Our place is to assist their crossing so they can be judged on the other side. Okay, okay, fun is fun, but this is serious. Nothing that was said wasn't anything that we didn't read in the journal. That she found hidden behind a wall in this house. Something here is broken through, and it's too strong to ignore. Why don't you two just move? And she can keep popping her pills. Katie, you don't have to live with this. Then live with it. Stop running right, from all it. All right, all right, hey, come on. Let's just cool it. Yeah, uh, because there's there's something in here. Well, what is it? I, I can't tell. Look, see? The people in the sketches. Oh my god, these are the medical files, detailing every torture you did to each one of them. No names. Just their numbers. That something led us to. Again. I'm sorry, but if there really is an evil presence in this house, then we're going to find out the right way. In local news today, the community mourns the tragic come loss of handyman hey, come look at this. Jason Telson, whose body was found electrocuted to death Sorry, by a junction box in the parking garage of his apartment complex. Yeah. Authorities have yet to determine whether this tragedy be a freak accident or foul play. Hello, Father Michaels. Thank you for coming so quickly. Good morning, Dominic. We missed you last Sunday. Yeah, we were crazy overwhelmed. The move, uh, getting ready for the family. Mm, I see. Uh, please, come in. 
everyone. This is Father Michaels. Father Michaels. Good morning, everyone. Kristen. Hello, Father. Hello. Good morning. Hello. Morning. This is the journal that I mentioned, as well as the other items. Is it true you discovered this while sleepwalking? Yes. So what do you think? I'd like to recite a few passages. If there's any undesirable spirits, it will help to expel them. Do you mind? Sure. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Holy Mary, Mother of Jesus, pray for us. Amen. 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 Save your servants who trust in you, Lord. Let them find in you a fortified tower. Let the enemy have no power here. We drive you from us unclean spirits, satanic powers, all wicked legions, in the name of and the power of our Lord. Give place to Christ. Stoop beneath the all-powerful hand of God. Tremble and flee when we invoke the Holy Spirit. It, it, it seems that there's something truly present here. Whatever it is, it's, it's coming from upstairs. Where she found the doctor's bag. We beseech thee through Jesus Christ to deliver us from the tyranny of the evil spirits, from their temptations and their furious wickedness. Through Jesus Christ, grant us that powerful protection to keep us safe from the snares of evil. Father Marcus, wait, wait. You need to leave this place now, Dominic. There's an evil in that house unlike any ever imagined.
house now! Go! <laughs> How's she doing? Her pulse is strong. It's back to normal. Look at that. Look at Kristen's hands. Downstairs, and Dom and I will be with you all night, okay? Tomorrow we are going to figure this thing out once and for all, all right? Kristen, come baby, on. wake up! Come on, baby, wake up! Kristen, wake up! Oh, you can do this, baby, wake up! Kristen, wake up! I need smelling salts from your your med kit. I'll be right back. Kristen, come on. something yeah trying to get a grasp on things I guess everything that's been happening if you would have told me about this before I wouldn't have believed you with her wrist in the bedroom everything that's happened with father Michael's here I know it was kind of like stigmata Marks of Jesus on her body. And then some. But it's bogus. It's a sham. It's something in this house wants something from her, and it's not going to stop until it gets it.
Yes, I see. Okay. Well, walls all fixed up. Well, thank you for calling. Yes, I will. Bye. I don't know how to tell you this. That was somebody from Father Michael's parish. He's, he's dead, Tom. How? Heart attack. His car went off the road. I've known him my whole life. My family, too. Don't you guys get it? People can't come or go into this place without being harmed or killed. You get hurt every time you try to leave. The answer's got to be in this journal. It has to be. February 27th. I've been secretly observing number one and four's behavior. They've begun creating a means of communication through now taps and scratches at the, at the walls and, and subtle, subtle rattles, rattles of their chains. The others have also picked up on and used number one and four's method for communicating. All now tap and scratch at the walls. They fully develop a language of their own and communicate with each other from room to room while thinking I'm asleep. The noises. No. They make the noises no. all night long no. until the point that no. it's mad. No. I try to set an example. I beat one, number six, to the point of death. All the while, I made sure the others would hear his cries. Example should reset their attitudes. My studies can begin again. I have made a grave mistake in my experiments. I've pushed this too far. All I get now is irreversible hatred, pure evil. I'm afraid this experiment is no longer pleasurable for me. for studying humans in captivity and start anew.
That's it. There's no more. He killed all six of them in this house. Seems so. We need to do something. Something that's going to end this. It won't be easy. They speak through Kristen. We're going to need her too. I'll talk to her. You should have told me about this thing with Kristen sooner. I should have told everyone sooner. I was hoping you'd give me another chance. Resnart ni Uridnor. Resnart ni Uridnor. Keep it covered until you see him. Got it. Spirit dwellers in this house, we invite, we invite you, to you to commune with our circle. Spirit dwellers in this house, we invite you to commune with our circle. Spirit dwellers in this house, we invite you to commune with our circle. Spirit dwellers. If you can hear us, we ask that you join us. Madam Little Nasties, you haven't heeded my warning. Gorbits, they're not the same. Changed, wild, and rationless. I told you, leave this place. Leave here, they're mine. How? We can't leave, you won't let her. No, not me. Them. Your victims?
Uh-oh. What? What's uh-oh? Next. dead. Katie. Katie. What do we do, Katie? Okay, okay, wait. I'm thinking. Kevin, he... He was trying to tell us something. I need to try to channel an entity. Whose? Hopefully one of theirs. When my hand stops moving, you guys are gonna need to start asking questions. Katie. Katie. Falcar's gone. Why can't Kristen leave the house? What's still keeping her here? Once good, wronged, tainted, darkened, and afterlife. Innocence taken, now malignant. Falcar, he, he wasn't threatening us. This, this is a warning. They were tricking us all along. They didn't want to be saved. They wanted to be freed from Falcar. We just exercised him. Great. Now what? You're the one that they're after. This is your crossroad. You've got to do it. Okay, how? You are going to have to go in there, face them, and ask them what they want. No, no, this is crazy. This is what she's been terrified of her entire life. It's too dangerous. 49. 36. 49. 36. 49, 36. 49, 36. I think she's in. How's her rhythm? It's good. Steady. What were those numbers? 49, 36? Nothing. Something to distract her from blocking me so I could guide her in. What's that? That's how long she has. There's a time limit? Nine minutes. One way or the other, it's over. really fast. Her heart just stopped. I can't feel a thing. Shit! 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 Get her on the floor! Get her on the floor now! Move out of the way. Go. Hold it. You've got six minutes. I'll need your help. I'm bringing her back.
happened here. Please, let me help you. I can't hear you. Kristen. Your hair 
your eyes, your breath, it felt so close to me. We spin and turn, feels right when I'm with you. Chase the stars It's in your sparkling eyes I see You're standing there in front of me I never cross the floor But in my mind 